Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on advanced web app series for rep application developer or the restful application programming developers. In this video series, we are learning about new and advanced web app syntax. With the help of that, you will be comfortably able to work with restful application programming model. Now, in this series, by far we have seen the working example of single loop, working with the loop with group by, condition, conversion, corresponding, value expression, and inline declaration. In today's session, we will focus on working with the reduce statement. So how does the reduce statement work? And what is the purpose of reduce statement? Let's get started. Before we start, kindly feel free to subscribe this channel, hit the bell icon, and share this video with your fellow colleagues so they can also take an advantage of this training. So let's get started and see the benefit of reduce statement. Reduce statement is predominantly used for performing calculations. Now, for example, in this data set, what we discussed in the last episode, we would like to do a total of booking fees. Let's say we have the flight price data, let's say 100, 200, 300, 900. And what we want to do, we wanted to loop over this data and calculate it total. So usually you loop, you say total plus the price amount and then you end a loop. Now, if you want to do this entire processing of a loop and loop with the total amount, then you can do this in a single ABAP statement using the reduce statement. So let's get started and see this in action. So I have got here my data set. I will be creating a new function now for working with reduce statement. So let's go ahead and do that. We will create a new function. Reduce statement, we will call it as, and we will also call our function over here in the main function. And let's write the implementation for this function. Perfect. So now what I will do, I will just select the data, create the data type, select the data from the database table, around 20 records. And I wanted to show the total booking fees total price which we paid so we will just look at bookings into work area bookings and loop and we will say lv total booking which has come till today is lv total addition with my booking fees or the booking price so total booking price so far what we paid this is our data and I will of course declare also a data variable up to decimal point. Yes. So we will finally get our total. This is the traditional way of ABAP to calculate the total. Now if I just go in and execute this, the normal one, we will get the total booking price. It's 8760. Yes. That is our data now our next step will be to utilize the same thing and use the reduce statement to to process this yeah so what i will do i'll come here and then i will convert this to a reduce statement to get the total so i will say my lv total will be equal to value and i wanted to typecast my value so we can say decimal up to 10 yeah des 10 so I will type cast and here I can use the reduce statement. So we can actually use the reduce statement to compile or start a loop and inside the loop we are going to calculate the total. So we will start with the initialization of a variable and then we can say my for loop with the next property and here outside you have to say reduce. 
So this should be reduced, not value expression. And we will say reduce decimal of 10. Initialize a value of x equal to 0. Now, when you initialize x as a 0, it will be initialized by default as an integer. So we have to use conversion function also to tell the computer to treat it not as a not as a integer but as a decimal so this way computer will always treat our value of x as a um, as a decimal point and i can say x equal to x plus my booking fees this one and let's start the loop so for ls bookings in my internal table perfect and then once the loop is done before you go to the next loop pass please total my amount so reduce initialize a variable like in this case we initialize a total variable on the top this is what initialization is doing creating a decimal type of a variable x let's call it as uh, you know x only no problem and then we have the loop which is going to be a inline loop and then after that we say every next processing will be done by keep on adding the price with the x at the end we will get the value of x in our lv total which we are printing so let's activate this and when we run we should be getting the same amount you can see it 760 is the amount which we are getting in the output so instead of writing multiple lines of code, it is all done in one single line with the help of reduce statement in ABAP. So that's another very powerful statement what we can use in advanced ABAP. With that, thank you so much once again for joining this session. You can find the source code of this session in the description of this video. Please share this video in the WhatsApp group of your team so that they can also learn new ABAP syntax for free. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much and see you in the next episode.